that embodies true love. Nat Wynn joins us live from Citrus Heights with more in this token of love. Hey, Nat. Good morning. Yes, it is such a beautiful story, and I felt so lucky and blessed that they decided to let us share that. This tree is just a portion, or this part is just a portion of what Jesse, the artist over here, has been commissioned to do and turn it into um, it, just a beautiful love story, beautiful piece of artwork. Yes, and I, we were so excited to share that with you guys this morning. Awesome. The story of Daphne and Bob Griffin is one most people only dream about. They were perfect. And there's no way to describe it. They were perfect. I met him about 10 years prior to his proposing. <laughs> he was widowed, and later on I was widowed. What started with a cup of coffee quickly turned to so much more, and the pair became as deeply rooted in each other as this redwood tree in Daphne's front yard. Then our second date, we went to the state fair, and that's where we got Mr. Tree. He was a sapling at the, uh, the forestry exhibit there. And it wasn't long after they planted that tree that Bob proposed to Daphne. He did it on their bench in Crescent City at sunset. As their love grew, so did Mr. Tree, celebrating every milestone with them. Marriages, birthdays. Even though people think, oh, it's just a tree, it has been with them their entire relationship. So when Bob got sick, what happened next didn't seem to surprise anyone. As uh, Bob sickened and got weak, the tree started to wither. And then Bob passed, and the tree passed this year. Just gave up the ghost. So I kind of think that tree was our symbol and it's gone. <laughs> but Daphne's granddaughter had other plans. We wanted to keep it. We didn't know what to do with it, but somehow we were going to keep it. I have to make sure there's gas in it. <laughs> and that's where artist Jesse Groshen comes in. They um, saw a, a chair I carved in Roseville and they wanted a chair, but the chair was too small. And so the story kept uh, evolving as like the subject matter of what it would be. And then um, I set a bench, and then I had the idea to do an angel. And once again, it only made sense that the tree stayed put. Because while Bob's no longer at Daphne's side, she's sure he's not gone. Yes, I think it's wonderful. I feel him around. I know he's still here, so. That's right. It's such a beautiful story. And again, I was so excited to have been able to share it with you guys. So if you're interested in seeing what this piece of artwork is like, you have to stay tuned. We'll get the full reveal coming up, and we'll get the chance to talk with Daphne and her granddaughter in this next hour. That is a fantastic Isn't story. that incredible? Right? The family might not be surprised, but I'm floored by yeah. that. Nat, great job. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. You should have warned me about hankies before and tissues. I know. Come on.